Hello and welcome. My name is Brian and in this video we're going to answer the question can you hear the difference between brand new strings and strings that are a year old? And really I just want to answer this question for myself because I've been feeling recently that my ukulele sounds a little sound like the strings sound brittle or dull or just not as it doesn't have that life to it that I that I remember it having. So the way this is going to work is I'm, I'm going to play some examples. I'll do some finger picking, some strumming, maybe a chord melody. Then I'll change out the strings and I'll try to play those same things again and then we can like look at it back and forth. And lastly, I've got three tips for changing your strings. Uh, but here we go. I'm going to just record some parts right now. So uh, we recorded a bunch of examples. Now it's time to uh, change some strings. I've got a few tools here. I've got a little neck brace here. Uh, it just kind of helps when it comes time to wind. Um, so let's start here. I like to take off one string at a time rather than taking all the strings off because then my saddle starts to slip and then I got to reset that. And I just feel like it's there's like a lot of tension on the neck right now. And so um, if I were to remove all the strings, then like I just I prefer to change strings one at a time. Actually, I forgot to mention at the top, I use Worth Brown strings. These are the uh, low G, B, T, L, G. Um, and you know, I went through this phase once, just like I tried out a lot of strings over a few months and um, I just settled on these, you know? Like I tried the regular like Kamaka strings. I tried the um, Diodario, Fremont. Um, and then when I try these Worth Browns, the thing I like about them is that the low G isn't wound. And that was always a thing for me where it's like sometimes when I hear a set of strings that has a low G where it's wound, I can hear the difference in that low G. Um, but here they're all made from the same material. Let me, uh, let's, we're going to get started with this. This is again the Worth low G. But let me show you this trick that I like to do. Um, if you're probably like wondering like what is this lighter for? Here's the string, right? I'm gonna take this, and definitely don't take your lighter anywhere near your uke, but, but watch this, here we're gonna go. Like this, okay, it checks out. There, right there. See what happened there? Now take a look. So there's this like little mushroom cap, right? That little head right there. And that will um, keep the string from slipping and unwinding um, around the bridge. So let me see if I can also get a close up here of what that looks like right there. You see how I've got like those little knot, like the little mushroom heads, it keeps the string from slipping out and unwinding. And so that's, that's what I like to do uh, when I string these. So here's the second tip. I've got it coming in this way. I'm gonna wrap it around like that, but I'm gonna slip this under like that. Slip it under and wrap it around. As I wind this, it's gonna catch on itself and that's gonna lock that string in place, right? Um, so really, I, I really just kind of like have just a loose amount of string, like that much is good. Oh yeah. Can you see now how like the string itself is like, locked in like right there it's already being held by the string as i wind it up cool uh that's pretty good last tip that i have about stringing you want to stretch out the string as much as possible in the beginning because it just like it's going to take some time for your strings to settle in so what i like to do is i hold down my finger here like right behind the the nut and then um and i just i, I just stretch the string out i pull it out go up and down Cool. All right. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna blaze through this next set of three strings here. Kind of like showing you guys this uh like this mushroom. What if I do it here? Ooh, that's a new angle. Let's try that. Whoa. There. Yes. You see that? Okay. Let's keep going. Let's share this quick story with you guys. Before I learned this mushroom trick. Um, I would just like wrap the string around and it was on this A string because it's so thin and there's so much tension on it and it snapped over so much that it damaged the varnish in my ukulele. So like there's a little crack you can kind of see here. That little chip in the varnish right there. That's when I, I don't know where I learned it, but 
It seems to work. All right, hold on, we're almost done, guys. All right, okay, here we go. Oh my God. I don't even think I need to record this demo because I can already feel how much brighter this sounds. Like, it just doesn't sound dull anymore, you know? Dang, I should have changed these strings earlier. Okay, here we go. It just sounds like it, it punches through a lot better. You know what this does? It like, it makes me want to play more, you know, because it sounds so good. I should have changed these strings so much sooner. All right, that was fun. Um, I'm glad I did this. I hope you guys learned something. Uh, the mushroom head, that's like how you get, you know, your strings uh, prevent it from snapping, snapping back. This was fun. Go change your strings. You know, sounds so much better. <laughs> uh, have a good one, guys. We'll see you next time.